Good morning participants. I am Dr. Kamlesh Bagmar from Mutiwala Homeopathic Medical College and Hospital from the Department of Surgery. Today we are going to deal with the topic Ranula. The specific learning objective for the today's session are after this lecture you should be able to define ranula, explain the clinical features of ranula and clinically diagnose the ranula. Just reflect your past understanding of what is cyst and what are the different types of cyst. You should pause this video and just recollect what is cyst and what are the types of cyst? When you are ready, you can resume this video. Yes, student, you might have recollected that the cyst is a, any kind of swelling which contains the fluid, but it should be lined by endothelial or epithelial lining. There are two types of cyst one is true cyst, and the another is pseudo cyst. Now turn to ranula. Is ranula a cyst? Yes. Ranula is a cystic swelling. So the word ranula, rana, it derives from the Latin word rana. It means a belly of frog. Usually this swelling is situated in the floor of the mouth and it is arising from sublingual gland or the mucous gland of Muhan or submandibular glands. It is a extravasation cyst and it is having a, a due to blockage of the duct, the, it is having a cystic swelling which is a retention cyst. Now one can understand this swelling on the basis of clinical features, signs and symptoms, but the signs plays a key role. The signs of the ranular, it is a bluish cyst swelling having a smoothing consistency, soft in nature with fluctuation test and brilliantly transilluminant swelling as it contains the clear fluid, usually situated at the floor of mouth. You can see such a kind of swelling in the younger age group of either sexes which is this swelling is absolutely non-tender in nature and mostly it is unilateral. There are two types of swelling, ranula, one is simple ranula which has been having an intraoral location whereas a plunging ranula which is having an extension to the cervical region. On examination you will find it out this swelling can be diagnosed only on clinical examination with fluctuation test positive and transillumination test positive. The fluctuation test can be performed by just holding the uh, swelling in two fingers, pressing the one side of the swelling and you will see the trans transmitted pulses to the opposite swelling that is the fluctuation test. Whereas in transillumination test you will find it out in a dark room if you lit this swelling with a torch it is getting brilliantly transilluminated as it contains a very clear fluid. So these two tests are diagnostic of ranula. Apart from the clinical diagnosis one can diagnose such a situation on USG or MRI. Usually if it is a plunging granula having a cervical extension. The differential diagnosis of such a cystic swelling is limb cyst and sublingual termoid. The complications of such a cyst are infection, rupture and speech difficulty. And so as to treat this kind of swelling, we can treat with marsupialization and excision. So let us summarize. We have talked about ranula is a cystic swelling located in the, the, in the oral cavity at the floor of the mouth which is soft cystic appearance bluish in color and having transillumination test positive and fluctuation test positive having two types 
simple and plunging granula. It is absolutely a painless swelling and one can treat this swelling with marsupialization and excision. Thank you for watching this video.